Hmm, yeah, that's flat. You want to make your own superhero redesign. Well, what you want to do is two words. Accuracy and uniqueness. These are the two key aspects in my mind to make a superhero redesign. Uniqueness. You got to be unique. Unique. That's the new word of the day. You see, if you don't do anything different, you're not going to be remembered for anything. Who remembers the Batman design for Batman? Nobody. Because it's just the design. But he, but the guy who drew him, drew him like a disfigured caveman. Nobody remembers the Beware of the Batman design because it's just the Tim Burton design. So everyone just remembers the Tim Burton design. Be unique. Everybody remembers the Gotham by Gaslight design once they see it because it's so unique. It's different. Everybody remembers the DC Rebirth design. The, the, the good one. The one with the yellow around the bat symbol. Not the oval. But just the yellow outline, because it's unique, it's memorable, and it's good. And why'd they replace it? <clears throat> and then you have to be accurate. You can't go too out there. I've seen some pretty radical redesigns that try to completely turn the wheel and back in the other direction. Now, I'm not saying that you can't remake a character or revolutionize it. I mean, Gwen Stacy and uh, Spectacular Spider Man. That's my definitive version in my mind. That's my favorite version of Gwen Stacy. Because Gwen Stacy, she was a boring character in the comics from in the 60s. She was, but, you know, then this version made her a different character. But it's not accurate, but it recreated her. But this is only done because that's not a superhero. That's just a normal person. That's like, that's like editing Archie characters just because, I don't know, I thought of that really quick on the dot. You're, you're remaking just normal people. But superheroes, they're, they're one of the most recognizable characters in the world. And when you change something, people are going to go nuts. People went crazy when they lost their underwear. Think of that. That's just the underwear. And I can get it for Superman because he looks a little off. And I'm not mad that Superman got his on his back, but I'm, that's another video, of part two of another video I made that nobody watched. My Batman, you know, he did this. You need to change something, you know. When it got rid of the oval, I'm sure people thought that was weird, you know. Get Bring back the yellow in his... Symbol, that was something that people kind of, I think, talked about for a while. Changing a superhero design is essentially, you gotta stick close, but you gotta be, you gotta move a little out, but you can't go too far out from the original. <coughs> you gotta, you know, you gotta just stick to your guns with this stuff. But you can't go way out there, like, stick to your guns. Your guns shouldn't be like Wally, -E. like a copy of Wally -E, the movie should not be the guns you're sticking to. You know, you gotta get something... It's your version. For instance, my version of Batman, I personally think that it's more film noir. I, my version of Batman would be, you know, super Spider-Man noir -y feel. You know, just going all the way. Hard shadows. Really focusing on crime and stuff. You know, just all that. So I designed my versions around that idea. I made Batman. He was a more grimy costume. It's kind of fabric, but he has some, you know, it's still superhero-y, you know, parts of it is bulletproof. But it doesn't have a cape, because that wouldn't fit, and it doesn't really have, well, it doesn't exactly have a cape, but it has something of it. Something of weird homage. So it's not a cape, but it sticks somewhat close to it. It has, I gave it the white goggles, so we could still have the white eyes, because people, you know, when you can put the white eyes there, and when people do put the white eyes in live action, people like that, you know? People flipped for the Dark Knight right to the Dark Knight having white eyes. And a lot of people, when uh, that means be V Superman, for something I actually remember when it came out, you know, people like that when they had white eyes for like five seconds. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm basically repeating myself, and uh, I gotta do a live stream right now because I haven't uploaded in four days. This was recorded on the 24th, and I'll see you on the bye.